Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with my gift wrapping tips video and you know all the Christmas shopping is done and now I can sit back and enjoy the process of wrapping gifts, which I enjoy. Some feel that it's a task, but to me this is an opportunity to enjoy the spirit of the holidays and to get my glass of eggnog and put on my Christmas movie and sit in front of the TV and embellish, embellish, embellish my holiday gifts. I really love to take my time wrapping my gifts because it is, is for me it's an expression of love to the person that I'm giving that gift to and so a lot of times it's not about the materialistic thing that I actually purchased but it's the thought behind it and so I'm going to share some things about how I wrap my gifts and one is ornaments now if you ever get a gift from me typically you're probably going to find at Christmas time it's going to have some type of ornament on it I think it's a beautiful way to embellish your gift wrapping it's very affordable you can even go to the dollar store and get packs of ornaments for a dollar and it just makes a great impact on your gift Walmart is also a great place to get some very affordable ornaments to put on your gift because it's like a gift and a gift because not only are you giving them a gift the ornament is something that they can keep and put on their tree for next year and I think it just adds a lot to the package and makes it fun and whimsy and so typically I will always put ornaments on the outside of packages and I have so much fun putting them on there also and so let's talk about gift tags. Now, I don't kind of use the pre-made gift tags. I think that it's just kind of, you know, something that my tag is very important for me because it's my opportunity to communicate to that person why I purchased them this gift. I can tell them the reason why or what I was thinking about or uh, when I purchased it for them or what the purpose is for. Um, sometimes I'll put something, a quote, or I'll put a scripture on there or I'll put a quote on there or, you know, sometimes I'll just simply put, I love you. It's an opportunity for me to communicate communicate something special to that person by creating my own gift tag rather than just kind of throwing a label on there. And so it's the little touches that I really do think are important. Now using the tool, now that's something else that I typically do a lot with my gift wrapping is because I like using fabric and tool a lot of times because it's very affordable and it gives a lot of wow factor to your gifts and you don't have to use as much ribbon. Like I use this clear sheer tool here just to kind of tie it off as the ribbon and it's very affordable. I mean you can get a yard for a dollar or under at your fabric store and I mean one yard can make tons, I mean you can wrap tons of gifts with one yard because you're only putting a simple piece around but it gives it a nice airy whimsy feel and so I just love using tool for some reason when I'm wrapping my gifts and so I don't put them on all the gifts but I'll kind of alternate between depending on what kind of uh, what I'm doing with that gift patch package I just kind of switch it up so I just love using tool Okay, so another thing I love doing is making gift baskets for the holiday season. I think it's a great way to personalize gifts. This is one I did for someone this year where I bought a lot of things that I think they would love or I hope they will love and I put them together in this caddy and shrink wrapped it to give it a finished look. And I wanna share with you today how I kind of put a basket together and shrink wrap in case this is something you've never done and you've just been curious about it, this, this portion of the video is for you. And so recently I was sent a bunch of products from a company called Lex and they have a leather care line and this is a great product line that I want to kind of put together in a gift basket and when they sent it to me I said you know what this would be perfect for a gift basket for that person who just got that brand new car with leather seats or to someone who just bought a home and has leather furniture this would be a great housewarming gift or even Christmas gift and I'll put a link below of where you can get their product line if you want to round and get this as a last minute holiday gift or you know if you ever need to kind of um, even if you want to just try out the products yourself so I I'm definitely going to do a giveaway with this. I'll be telling you about this um, at the end of the video, but now I want to get into sharing kind of what I'm putting in the gift basket and how I put the gift basket together. So let me show you what we're going to be putting in the gift basket because this is going to be themed around this whole leather uh, care product line and you're going to use the foamer and the 3-in-1 cleaner, um, the leather cleaner which it's pH balanced and it's also UV protectant. So I love that about this line here that they have the leather conditioner which softens your leather and prevents cracking and then it has the protectant in there and they have it in different forms such as the care pads and also they have the wipes that you can keep in your glove compartment so that you can just wipe down your um, 
leather in your car and your vinyl and it keeps it really taken care of and I love that about it and so now we're gonna package this up and I like using these wire baskets that I get for five bucks at a store called at home in my area and when I do my baskets I tend to put paper in the bottom of it if I don't have a lot of filler because then I don't have to use a lot of filler throughout the entire basket I then put my taller items in the back and I start arranging my items in the basket till it look until it looks like I want it to look and so once I have it that way I then embellish it on the inside with some different greenery or things like that now you don't only have to do gift baskets during Christmas these are great for Valentine's Day to do kind of like a bath products or just you know all kinds of birthdays all kinds of holidays gift baskets fit in for and so now that I have everything in there I'm going to put it in my shrink wrap bag and you can get shrink wrap bag at bags actually from the dollar store from your craft store you just want to make sure that it is shrink wrap and not just plain cello wrap the plain clear wrap will not not shrink once you put heat on it you have to have shrink wrap so once I have it tied off and I put my ribbon on there and I'm embellishing it and I changed it out from the red and put gold in here when I started working on the basket I kind of tweaked it a little bit as you can tell and so I have everything in here you could technically give the basket like this without putting the heat on it and it and, and it'd be fine but I always like to shrink wrap my baskets because you know when you're transporting and things like that shrink wrapping keeps everything tight and together and it gives it a nice finished look to me I just love the look of it and it's the fact that I customized it and then I'm able to package it to this beautiful look I love that now I have a heat on here you can so use a hair dryer to do this process and basically once you have every tie thing tied down you're just going to start from the bottom of your basket and you're going to go around the entire basket and just keep that blow dryer or that heat gun moving and you will see it start to uh, shrink the the packaging on to, it would all shrink together and start coming together now you do want to keep it moving because if you keep that heat in one spot it can burn a hole in your shrink wrap and so you want that neat look so just keep that heat gun or your blow dryer moving and you will see it start to tighten up and you just go from the bottom of the basket up to the top now I do tape down the sides of my basket beforehand and I do not shrink wrap the top of it here because I like for that to stick up and so that is just the easy process of shrink wrapping it doesn't take any time to do and so this is all these are all the products that are going to be in the giveaway just leave a comment on this video telling me anything you want to tell me you must be over 18 this is open internationally I'll put the deadline here for the giveaway I hope you all will participate and if you like go over and tweet the Lexol company I'll put their Twitter below and just let them know that you saw this video and you and you saw how to put their products together in a basket and so I hope that you enjoy seeing how I kind of package my holiday gifts I want to thank Lexol for sending me these products so that I could show you how to put together a gift basket and I hope you all are doing well I hope you're having fun wrapping all of your gifts and enjoying the holiday season and loving on your family and just taking this time to really enjoy the Christmas holiday I want to see you at the next video I hope you're being blessed and this is Nikki saying goodbye